Hey, what's up, Aquamigos? How are you guys doing today? Before we get on with working on the pond, let's take a quick look at the pool pond because I feel like I haven't shown it in quite a while. Check out how many water lily pads we got coming up. And yeah, check these guys out. So now moving on to the pond build, if we take a look inside this bucket, you'll see that I have these wooden stakes. Hopefully I have enough of them. And pretty much what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to drive them into the ground on the, I guess, inside part of the bender board that I set up in last week's video. And those are going to add additional support for the bender board just to make sure that it's up straight and it's stable enough so that when I go ahead and pour the concrete into this trench, those stakes will help reinforce this bender board so it doesn't like bend backwards or get warped out of the shape that I want it to be in. So let's go ahead and do that and after I finish that hopefully we'll have time to do some more but let's go ahead and do that first. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far. When we get to this side of the pond, I think what I'm going to want to do is dig out this PVC pipe a little bit more because we do have a PVC pipe down there. It's a sprinkler pipe and I'm not exactly sure where it goes. So I'm going to dig it out a little bit more just so I can be sure that I'm not driving any stakes into that pipe. All right guys, so that's what we're looking at here. So I'm gonna try to drive a stake down on the inside of this pipe right here, and then I won't put anything along here. And then I'm guessing if I put one down here, that should be totally fine. Like where these two bender boards meet, I think right around there should be okay. <laughs> Right here I'm just going around the whole perimeter of where the foundation will be to make sure that it is a bit wider than the width of one cinder block. And as you can see here my mom even popped in to lend a hand. And next we're gonna go ahead and put some rebar through the foundation. If you look down here, I have these little concrete blocks with wires coming out of them, and those are going to hold up the rebar. And it was around this point that I realized that I had missed a somewhat crucial step 
which was leveling the bender board before I screwed it into the stakes. So I guess I'm gonna have to correct that before I pour the cement. All right guys, so there we go. That's where we're at. And I think that's going to be all we're going to do for today. I got the rebar going through the entire trench. And in next week's video, I'm thinking we should be ready to pour the cement. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, guys, the loach. We don't get to see the loach very often, but there he is. Yes. Okay, but anyways, guys, yeah, next week I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pour the cement. All right, guys, so that's gonna be just about it for this video. As usual, I have a few shout outs for the Aquamigos. I have a shout out for Hope Stubbs, Jacob Hartley, and Albert Romero. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate that. If any of you would like a shout out in my next video, my next pond video, all you have to do is go down in the comments and comment, I am an Aquamigo, and I'll shout you out in my next pond video. If you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you went down there and gave this video a like, if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.